Forever could never be long enough for me I feel like I've had long enough with you I don't know where it is, if you're in your grave, they might vote Forget the world now, we won't let them see But there's one thing left to do Now that the weight has lifted Love has surely shifted my way. Here's something that needs to happen. I don't know that Aaron will be this. Today and every day. Her mom and her baby daddy. <laughs> if I ever get the nerve to say hello in this cafe, say you will. I know. Together could never be close enough for me to feel like life is full of compromise. You got to compromise to make it work. I know my daughter is very hot headed. Just try to come together, be calm. Been with your dad for 28 years, marriage, 34 together. And if it wasn't about compromise, we wouldn't be here today. I love you both and I wish you a long, happy life and that we are here to see that with you guys. I love you so much. And I get a son. He takes my daughter. <laughs> Yay! He gets to deal with her wacky ass. <laughs> I am marrying Lura. And uh, after the day, I am a married man. It's crazy to think about. So much to how much time you got left of bachelorhood? Officially? Like 30 minutes. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I mean, it's still time to get out of urban. There is time. But I don't think I'm going to. You ready? Oh, yeah. Laura, we've been waiting for this day for a long time, and it's finally here. I couldn't be happier. And uh, I love you. And uh, just can't wait for it to be over. <laughs> so that uh, you and I are bride and groom and we start the rest of our lives together. I love you both. You're giving me the son I've never had. She's like, <laughs> so that's what you need to be getting right now. So oh, man. <laughs> Hot day. Wait, my hair's messed up. So he's ready to go. Oh, just remember. <laughs> oh, my God. That's I still great. have time to run. I, I want you to shoot. shoot it. You got to shoot it now, right? Run, right. Oh, yeah. 
of the grave. The winds have changed, they're blowing wild and free. You ain't seen nothing like me yet. I'll make you happy, make your dreams come true. No, there's nothing that I wouldn't do. Go to the of the earth for you to make you feel my love to make you feel my On behalf of Brian and Laura, let me thank you for coming out today on this joyous occasion, and I know it means so much to them for your presence here today. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness to join together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The sacred relationship of marriage was established by God in creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned marriage by his presence and first miracle at the wedding in Canaan of Galilee. The Apostle Paul chose marriage to symbolize the union between Christ and his church, and the Holy Scripture commends marriage to be honored among all people. The union of a husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy and for the help and comfort given to one another and prosperity and adversity. And when it is God's will for the procreation of children and their nurture and the knowledge and love of the Lord, therefore marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly but soberly and deliberately and in reverent fear before God. And into this holy union, these two come today to be joined. Brian, I would first of all say to you, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the holy covenant of marriage? Will you love her and comfort her and honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others be faithful to her so long as you both shall live. I do. And to you, Lord, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the holy covenant of marriage, will you love him, comfort, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, be faithful to him so long as you both shall live. Yes. And I would say to all the congregation, that is assembled here together today. Will all of you witness these promises and do all in your power to uphold these two people in their marriage? If so, will you answer, we will. We will. Who's giving this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Mm Brian and Lord, the Word of God teaches that it's beginning the creation. The Bible says that God made them male and female. The Bible says, For this call shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, and the two shall become as one flesh. Consequently, today you are no longer two, 
but you are to become as one flesh. You have come today to be made husband and wife. And I would ask at this time that you would repeat after me uh, these vows. First of all, to you, Brian. I, Brian. I, Brian. Take you, Laura. Take you, Laura. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. And to you, Laura. Mm -hmm. I, Laura. I, Laura. Take you, Brian. Take you, Brian. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. As God is my witness. God is my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. Brian and Laura, the Word of God describes the kind of love that we're to have for each other. The Bible teaches us that love is patient, that love is kind, that love is not jealous, and that love does not brag, it is not arrogant, it does not act unbecomingly, it does not seek its own, it's not provoked, it does not take into account our own suffering. The Bible says love never fails, and having this love in your heart they have chosen to seal their vows by the giving and the receiving of rings. And in just a moment, they will be doing just that.
As long as I live, I will love you. this ring that I hold in my hand. They're small in size, but very, very large in their significance. We find that they're made of precious metal. And it reminds us that love is not cheap, nor is love common. Indeed, love may cost us dearly. It's made in a circle, and its design tells us that love must never come to an end. We must keep it continuously. And as you wear these rings, whether you are together or apart for a moment, may they be a constant reminder to each one of you that you belong to each other and to no one else. So I would ask at this time, Brian, if you would, to take this ring and to place it upon the third finger of Laura's left hand. And if you would repeat after me these words. With this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving husband. To be your faithful and loving husband. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. And Laura, I would ask also for you take this ring and place it on the third finger of Brian's left hand and repeat after me these words. With this ring. With this ring, sorry. <laughs> I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving wife. To be your faithful and loving wife. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I would say now to Brian, and to Laura, that, that you have given yourselves to each other by these solemn vows before us and before God as witness, and you have shown your affection and your trust by the giving and receiving of ring and by the joining of hands, and I pronounce by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Kentucky that you are husband and wife. Therefore, what God have joined together, let not man separate. And shall we pray at this time? Father, we thank you today. We thank you today, Lord, that you've allowed each one of us to come together here today. Lord, you says marriage is honorable in all, and the bed is undefiled. And Lord, I pray today that Brian and Laura... Uh, may look to you in a time of need within their life. They put you in the center of their home, knowing, Lord, that you will watch over them. So, Lord, I pray that you take care of them. Uh, may you bless their families. May you bless these friends. Bless everything we've done here today, Lord, and we pray that it's been that which would have brought glory to your precious name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Uh, amen. 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 And, Brian... At this time, we'll ask you, if you would like to, <laughs> you may kiss the bride. Yes, sir. Well, he better. All right. <laughs> All right. Amen. Finally. So if you would turn and face the congregation here today, and, and ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Brian, Brian Reynolds. Reynolds. Yeah. Let's have that together. Wait here one second.
I can't find a thing to wear Now and then she's moody She's a Saturn with a sunroof With her brown hair blowing She's a soft place to land And a good feeling no She's a warm conversation That I wouldn't miss for nothing She's a fighter when she's mad And she's a lover when she's loving And she's everything I ever wanted And everything I need Talk about her, I go on and on and on Cause she's everything to me She's a Saturday out on the town And a church girl on Sunday She's a cross around her neck Cuss word cause it's Monday She's a bubble bath and candles Baby come and kiss me She's in one glass of wine And she's feeling kind of tipsy She's the giver I wish I could be And the stealer of the covers She's a picture in my wallet of My unborn children's mother She's the hand that I'm holding When I'm on my knees and praying She's the answer to my prayer And she's the song that I'm playing And she's Everything I ever wanted And everything I need and I talk about her, I go on and on and on Cause she's everything to me
that wooden rocking chair I want rocking right beside me Every day that passes I only love her more Yeah, she's the one That I'd lay down my own life for And she's everything I ever wanted and everything I need She's everything to me Yeah, she's everything Baby girl is born into this world A man starts to change, do crazy things Like painting the bedroom pink To hold something so small and frail Absolutely scares the hell out of any guy No matter how brave he thinks he might be When she looks up at him like he's Superman Got him in the palm of her hand Daddies and daughters Have something no one else does Unique and special kind of love It's hard to explain How man, tough as leather Can turn the veil that when she smiles Worlds apart as they may seem like the love between daddies and daughters Before she even gets to second grade He's already starting to think about all the boys and What's on their minds Cause he was once one too She's sixteen and heading to the dance He says you ain't going dressed like that She slams her door 
starts to cry Thinks he ain't got a clue She'll finally understand it one day She'll even see the love in his mistakes Daddies and daughters Have something no one else does Unique and special kind of love It's hard to explain How man tough as leather Turn the veil that when she smiles Worlds apart as they may seem There's nothing like the love between Daddies and daughters No one she ever meets Will ever be good enough for her Daughters have something no one else does. Worlds apart as they may seem, there's nothing like the love between daddies and daughters. Let's give a round of applause for Laura today. Look how good she looks. Thank you, thank you. Brian looks all right. He's doing yeah. okay. No, he's not. He's not doing that good. He looks, he looks pretty good, though. Anyway, I'm Justin. I've known Ray for about 15 years. And if I say Ray and you all don't know who I'm talking about, that's Brian. I've called him that for 15 years. Uh, met, I met Ray at Ace Hardware at one of my first jobs out of high school. Fantastic. He introduced me to Xavier as well, and we've been the three amigos ever since. So it's been a great friendship. I want to say some nice things about Ray. Uh, he's a genuine person. He's a guy that's always there when you need him. He's kind. He's strong. So basically, he's a teddy bear. And Ray, if you can hold up your hands. One of them. Yeah, that's a that's what we call a paw right there. That is a, that is a teddy bear paw. But seriously, Ray and Xavier both, they're my brothers, and they always will be. I'm not gonna cry, Ray. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of great things to say about Ray, but you also gotta watch out for Ray because Ray's got a a bad luck streak about him sometimes. <laughs> Anybody who knows Ray knows that that is true. I remember one time Ray got stuck on a hill about 10 miles outside of town trying to learn how to drive a stick shift. And he, he had to walk all the way back. He came bursting in the door. Ray, where you been? Stuck on the side of a hill. Ray's broken more cell phones than anybody on planet Earth. Well, I'd like to know that before I put him on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know that part. That would have been I'm good. So sorry. <laughs> Just not a few months ago, Ray, Ray and Xavier and I went out on a fishing trip. It would have been fantastic. The sun rose, fog was rising off the water. Ray makes a nice cast in, pops his little topwater bait. Bam! Gets a bite. He reels the fish in, gets it to the boat. Good looking fish. Reaches down to grab it. Bam! He's got a hook in his thumb. So we, we spent the next two hours at the hospital. But I will say Ray is strong. He got right back in the boat and we went fishing for the rest of the day. I don't know how he did it. I could not have done that, but Ray did that. But I will say it looks like today Ray's luck has changed for the better. And it looks like Lura's got him hooked. Oh. I'm not going to give you a bunch of marriage advice. I'm just going to say this. Be humble. That's very, very important. Live for each other. I can see that you're already doing that. And have fun together. Those are the three best things that I can give you. So, where, where'd my liquor go? <laughs> so everybody raise your glass, please. 
This is to my brother, Brian, and my, and my sister, Laura. Congratulations. I love you both. Thank you. you'd be looking for in a wife or a person. Obviously, you're your wife now. Laura, you found Brian? Yeah, I did. And uh, that's uh, about what like we said about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody got the short end of the stick there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but you really didn't get the short end of the stick. Because as Justin was saying, really, Brian is one of the most genuine, kind, caring people out there. He's selfless, and I totally understand why you've fallen in love with him. And you've been able to see all the characteristics that both Justin and I have been able to grow and learn and everything from him. So, again, I'm really happy that you see what we see and that you've got him. Yeah. He deserves you. You deserve him. Mm -hmm. Kind of as Justin was sharing, we both know Ju or, I'm sorry, we both know Brian for many, many years. So it's a little bit over 15 for me. And by far, this is the happiest that we've both ever seen him. His smile is just a little bit larger. He's happier the way he carries himself. Every time he's talking about Laura, there's just this big smile on his face and this glow. And as Justin was sharing, you know, he's had some hard times and she's been there with him throughout all that and got him through that. And it's just made a big change in his life. And really, I don't know where he'd be at today without her. So I'm surprised it's been actually four years since they've been together. But um, we're happy that you are together, that you did meet, and that you were able to help Ray through a lot of these things. Again, we call him Ray. Sorry, Brian. Um, mm -hmm. But you love him like we love him. Lure's undoubtedly a soulmate. And again, she's been the best thing that's ever happened to him. Lura, I ask that you continue to take care of my brother. I know you love him with all your heart, and you'll continue to bring out the best in him and they'll do the same for you. Brian, I have no doubt that Laura is your soulmate. Like I said, it's been amazing just seeing the changes in you over the past four years. Again, all for the better. I couldn't be happier for you both, and I want to ask you to cherish her always. Cherish him always. Be there for her, and be there for him. To all, just say, raise your glasses with me to a toast the union of Mr. and Mrs. Reynolds to many years filled with happiness, unconditional love, and devotion. When I got the news today, I didn't know what to say. Yeah. So I just yeah. hung up the phone. No. You kiss that girl. <laughs> I took a walk to clear my head. And this is where the walk-in led. Can't believe you're really gone. Don't feel like going home, so I'm gonna sit right here. On the edge of this pier And watch the sunset disappear And 
drink a beer Funny how the good ones go Too soon but the good Lord knows The reasons why Sometimes a greater plan It's kind of hard to understand Right now it don't make sense I can't make it all make sense So I'm gonna sit right here On the edge of this pier And watch the sunset disappear So long, my friend, until we meet again. I'll remember you and all the times that we. On the edge of this pier And watch the sunset disappear And drink a beer Drink a beer Just watch. Don't believe me. Just watch. Don't believe me. Just watch. 
little something. Uptown funky what? Uptown funky what? Uptown funky what? Uptown funky what? Uh, I said uptown funky what? Uptown funky what? Uh, uptown funky what? Uptown funky what? Come on, dance, jump on it. If you suck, sad and flown it. If you freak, dead and own it. Don't brag about it, come show me. Come on, dance, jump on it. If you suck, sad and flown it. I think I'm just jealous because there's been no marriage for me. I mean, I know I've got the honey, I just can't find the bee. That's it.
this way before. Never felt yes, I swear, way. it's a truth, and I hope it'll.